Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're going to look at our raw sensor value block and our stop program block. So, if we pull out our raw sensor value, there's only one mode, and what we can do is we can choose our port that we're looking at our raw sensor value from, and it just exports whatever the value is. So this will work on any sensor that has that, um, that can plug into the port that is, and it'll just show the raw value or unedited value of uh, the EV3 software, because the EV3 software changes the values sometimes to uh, make it easier to work with. And then the stop program is really obvious. It uh, stops the program immediately. It's kind of useful if you want to use, um, if you're having multiple things running at the same time. You can have this one keep going on, and this one end after this, whatever you have in there. Uh, you don't need it at the end of every program, because it'll automatically stop. But if you do put it at the end, it'll stop that program immediately. And that's kind of those two blocks. I guess the one thing that you can use the raw sensor value is for um, NXT sensors or uh, uh, third-party sensors. That would also work for this. That's kind of your use for this though. Third-party sensors are not legal for FLL so don't use them if you are an FLL team or bad things will happen. Anyways, uh, that is those two blocks.